my topic was is uh, web extension. But what is, what are web extension? Well, first of all, we need to start from an important fact. The fact is that Mozilla is the most customizable browser ever. Why? Well, I don't say that because I'm Mozilla Dacti or insane like the t-shirt, but because it is the truth. Why it is the truth? Well, usually an extension uh, improves the website experience. Usually are the main the purpose of an extension, but uh, it's not all because you, an extension can change also the behavior the of the browser, like the download manager interface or the UI of the browser. And this is very important in Firefox, not in the competitor like Chrome, because in Chrome, as a developer, you can have only a single button in the, in the address, address bar. And this is a problem. So, this is, not, uh, this is a rare problem, but uh, in Firefox, the extension has an important role, because Mozilla uses it uses for the project. I can show you two examples. Like the test pilot project, it's an experimental uh, project that enables the user, or the user, to try experimental features and they can leave a feedback. And this fact, this fact is very important because usually when you try a new experimental feature on a web a service, online, or a software, you are a user that cannot leave a feedback. And after two months, you find this feature in production without saying nothing. But in Mozilla is not this the way because a user can leave a feedback. This is an important fact. The second project is the CoFaster project. What is? Well, <coughs> is uh, a way to move core features like Firefox, the old Firefox Hello or the Pocket integration as an extension itself. Why this? For many purposes, because you can have a release time different, the user can remove the problems because there are many problems for users that don't want this integration, and for the contributors, it's very easy because you have a, a different project and you have not to work in all of the Firefox code base. So these are two examples. But uh, this is not enough in the Firefox uh, environment. Why? Because there is also the statistics. For our developers are boring, but for uh, our marketplace, not. Uh, the 40% of Firefox users have at least one atom. So for millions of users means a huge marketplace. But also the marketplace itself of uh, far addons mozilla.org called Hemo. Uh, in Italian, Hemo is love, but okay. Uh, the cool part is that we have uh, so 32,000 addons available on the store <coughs> with 19,000 developers. And the cool part is that mainly the last months after the release of web extension, there was a growing number of new extensions. <coughs> So, for a developer, it's important because you can see this is not a um, blocker, this is a, a work in progress improvement every month. But I am not talking about what is a web extension. Well, web extension is very easy because uh, it is uh, a new API is for developers, obviously, but uh, it's not uh, the oldest way to do an extension in Firefox. It's a different way inspired from Chrome. But why from Chrome? Because many people say, ah, it's, well, it's the same of Chrome, of Google, it's not okay for Mozilla. No, this is not the right way for a developer because the web extensions are a new way because this is a standard uh, HTML, CSS, a JavaScript technology, technology that uh, a web developer already know. So this is the important fact. The oldest way is crazy. The next is that uh, because it's already on Chrome, the documentation is already available. So for a developer, you can find everything you need. Also on Stack Overflow, as an example. The, our life as a developer is in Stack Overflow. The third point is uh, <coughs> that uh, it's electrolysis compatible. So the new technology for a developer is already electrolysis without writing anything specific. And finally, that the cool part, the extension is compatible with both of the browsers. So a developer can write one extension, something that a few years ago is uh, something very strange, but now this is the point to have the Chrome party. So in that way, all the extensions can work in both of the browsers. But they say initially, this is not enough because Firefox is most customizable. So this is a problem. Are missing many API. So after the plan is have to compile the next two more on new APIs for developers to improve the experience of Firefox. Chrome user and yeah, we have no choice. But in conclusion, this is also the story because for a developer it's important to have someone that uses your product <laughs> and some Italian guests.